So my parents immigrated from South Korea about 30 years ago, and I think growing up as a second generation Korean American, I was exposed early on to the community that cultural values bring, but also, I think most importantly, the conflicts that differences in cultural values bring. And I had a hard time growing up sort of trying to make sense of my Korean identity and also my American identity and how to bridge those two. And I remember taking this anthropology course where that was the first time I finally felt like I could understand my parents. And that's really what drew me to anthropology. Anthropology really makes the world a more safer place for human differences and allows you to understand people because it allows you to be more open-minded. And I think that's what I really appreciate about the field of anthropology. My name is Grace Kim and the title of my project is Skinny is Cosmetic Cure, Exposing Clinical Significance of Eating Disorders Within South Korea's Dual Medical System. So for two months, I worked in Seoul, South Korea, predominantly working with traditional Korean medicine doctors, also known as hanisas, and biomedical psychiatrists. They gave me a lot of access to shadow them in their practice, how they diagnose their patients, how they treat their patients, how they perform acupuncture and moxibustion, and their thought processes behind the way they treat their patients. And within that, I was able to better understand how they thought and viewed and treated eating disorders. In the literature, there isn't much on eating disorders, which is kind of contrary to what the culture is about. Uh, and so talking to them really illuminated what was going on. South Korea is a huge metropolitan city that dominates in beauty culture and you'll see anywhere where you go in the subway or a grocery store or a beauty store inevitably you'll see some kind of advertisement for a weight loss product or a new diet program or some sort of person who had this amazing procedure that allowed them to lose a lot of weight. There's a lot of pressure to look a certain way. I think I chose this community because it had a lot to do with me. I grew up in this culture, I speak the language fluently, and yet in many ways I'm very American. And so I really wanted to come from a place of open-mindedness to understand why they think a certain way that's different from mine and how can I make sense of those two things and how can I better understand people who look like me but also think very different from me. I was having dinner with one of my participants. Uh, this individual was a psychiatric traditional Korean medicine doctor and he had been in practice for a long time and had seen pretty much everything under the sun in terms of psychiatric concerns and I remember we were just drinking and talking and he said to me Grace like being skinny in Korea is not an illness it's just a cosmetic achievement and that's something that I was very shocked by, but I was very honored to hear that that was something that really came from just honesty. And it wasn't, it didn't taint his treatment of patients that he saw. He actually did definitely treat eating disorder in a very creative way, but he was just very honest with the fact that that's just the cultural norm and the cultural pressures, and that in many ways, problematizing that is so much more problematic than accepting it in the way that he did in his practice. So it really allowed me to rethink, like, what would a culture look like without the label of eating disorders? What does that, what does that entail? And so it did shock me, but at the same time, it was, it was eye-opening to see from somebody who's been in this practice for a long time, the reality of his culture and his world. I mean, my hope is that my greatest contribution was more awareness. South Korea does not really talk about body image disorders or body dissatisfaction in general and so to put a label on it or to entertain the idea of a label on it as eating disordered really had a lot of my participants thinking and rethinking clarifying what what do you mean by eating disorders what does that mean like and I think that awareness in it of itself was something that I hope helps them reach more people that they might have not helped prior to me maybe just introducing that concept to them. The entire process of doing field work, going through it, coming back, and then rehashing it all over again is a process I think that's really taxing and it's not supposed to be 
a very simple wham bam done kind of process and i think it's okay to struggle i think it's okay to ask for help and i think it's okay to acknowledge when you don't understand something and i think that makes the experience so much more enriching where you know where you're in a position where you realize wow i really didn't know much and now i know a lot more and that process is probably a little uncomfortable and that that's okay